Now to another major race for an open U.S. Senate seat going on tonight. Current Senator Jim Inhofe stepping down in January from the spot that he's held since 1994. And now Congressman U.S. Representative Mark Wayne Mullen is going to fill that spot tonight. We know that the AP declared Mullen the unofficial winner early on. Here you have with 95% of the precincts reporting. He claims 62% of the vote of the Democrat Kendra Horn, only 35% of the vote. 2 News anchor Justin Fisher joining us live now from Mullen's watch party here in Tulsa. Justin, it's been nearly two decades since we've seen a new name in the Republican nominee's spot. That's right. It's been uh, quite a while as uh, Jim Inhofe does uh, step down from that position in January uh, when, as you said, it's projected that Mark Wayne Mullen will be taking that spot in the Senate, moving from the House of Representatives uh, seat that he has had for about a decade now, going to the Senate. Uh, and we are at his watch party here. And the last time that we, we spoke to you all, we're at the uh, Stokely Event Center uh, here in Tulsa. Much, much different scene. There's a little bit more of a mellow music uh, now, not as many supporters of, uh, of the congressman anymore. But uh, just shortly after that prediction came out, Kara, and he took to the stage to uh, address his supporters, uh, talking about his family and what they have been through over the last 256 days or so. He announced this in February uh, that he would be going for the Senate. He did it in a social media post that he uh, put up uh, as he was actually driving to Oklahoma City for a wrestling meet for one of his uh, children, even mentioned during uh, his speech today that it was a that was a one uh, one try on that video that he was uh, fairly proud of. But he talked a lot of, a lot about his family and a lot about uh, his supporters. Take a listen to just one little bit of it. Because in our family we have a saying: you're never going to change anything you're willing to tolerate. Talk about uh, a lot of what uh, his agenda is when he uh, heads to the Senate. Uh, one of the big things he touched on was the red wave just started. That uh, this was a no to the left agenda, to a socialist agenda, and that sitting back and doing nothing simply was not an option. But a big thing that he did touch on uh, during his speech was energy costs and what Oklahomans in particular are going to be paying this year and compared to past years. And that's also something he touched on when we spoke with him earlier in the day, saying that OPEC, uh, the kind of global market uh, for energy costs, should not be the way it is. And he wants to make sure that that is a top priority when he does uh, head to the Senate. I also asked him earlier in the day uh, about his work across the aisle. He said in the House he did that. He worked uh, with Democrats to get things done, and that is something he will also be doing uh, in the Senate. But again, 256 or so days that he has been on this campaign trail, and he did talk a lot about his family. And of course, I will see you uh, tomorrow morning on 2 News Oklahoma Today. Where we'll share more about what the uh, congressman had to say. For now, live in Tulsa, Justin Fisher, 2 News Oklahoma.